We're talking jawline. So I want everybody in the room and everybody at home to imagine that there's a hook in the top of your head and it's pulling you up to the ceiling. I want you to be very straight. And then when you're up there, I want you to increase the distance between your earlobes and your shoulder blades. You got it? So now I'm up. Now I want you to, you can come out here so that you can see this. <laughs> now I want you to jam your forehead forward a little bit. Let me see. Yes. Perfect. See the difference? Now go like this. Like this. That's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> you don't, this is the number one thing that makes people feel like you know what you're talking about. If you make their jawline look good, immediately you took away the 10 pounds that they thought they had that they don't. And boom, you get a sharp jawline, you wrap it around, and, and we're going to see. So let's see if we can sharpen up this jawline. She's got a good jawline. I just got to get her in that position. So I like calling it hook it. Get in there and hook it for me. There you go. Further. Yeah, you should be in pain. I want you to have to call your chiropractor later. Hold on. Now, I'll wait for the reaction. But now, she didn't react to that, so she's diminished. Yeah. I could tell. You're right? You jam your forehead out. What kind of operation do you run? Chin down a little bit. There you go. Good. That's it. Good. So now I've got better positioning on the jawline. I waited, but do I have the face? The face is saying, this feels weird. <laughs> All right, but the jawline's better. Now we got to work on the face. What are the three things that can move? Mouth, eyes, eyebrows. All right, but jam that forehead forward. What kind of? Yeah, there you go. Hold that. Now do something with yourself in there. There you go. Good. <laughs> Bring the chin. That's it. No, she, you're not. This is not. This is now. She went, she went from diminishing to posing. Did you see that? High five. There you go. She's working it. She's playing with me now. Now we're getting somewhere. Now, now once the energy gets going, then you keep going. You give them some tips. So if you all know the squinch, I'm going to tell people to squinch. Okay, I tried squinching. You tried squinching? Let's see. Go like this with your head. Just pull it forward on both sides like that. Yeah, there. Nice. Yeah, good. You got some bangs going on there. Good, they look, that's it. <laughs> Can you stand, do the hook, you're not hooking it. I'm sorry. Yeah, get, where are you from? Spain. Spain, all right, cool. So again, what did I do? While I'm shooting, I don't talk to them beforehand if I can get away from with it. What did I do? I heard the accent, I asked where she's from. You know what I'm looking for? What am I looking for? Who knows what I'm looking for? A common thread. Oh my gosh, I've been to Spain. <laughs> I bought my first camera in Madrid. Bring your chin out. It was a Mamiya 645. I was with Bruce, and at, at, uh, he was doing something in Sevilla, and I would, went down there, and I scoot this way a little bit. There's this photographer, Ramiro Montoyo, taught me everything I know about darkroom, and he got me started. And he lives in Madrid. Where do you live? Where? In Sierra. You live here, but you're from Spain? Where were you? Where'd you grow up? Bring your chin out. In Spain. Down. In you had close your mouth. Where? Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Good. Now, what I'm trying to do is can stop her from thinking about being in front of the camera, but it's not working. She almost can't tell me where she's from because she's so mesmerized by the camera. Did you notice that? <laughs> the, where's the squint? Why are the eyes so big? There you go. There you go. Jam your forehead out. Is she get, now is she getting there? How's that? Yeah. Is she getting there, people? Yeah. Three, is that a shebang or no? Is that shebangable? Is that shebangable? Three, two, one! Shebang! Shebang!